right, we are now heading back to the previous planet. Because now that we have the... What's it called? The robot turner inner tour thing. Let's, uh, let's quick select that, actually. Was it the infiltrator, I think? Hollow guys. The infiltrator is the other thing. Uh, I doubt we're going to need the hydro displacer here. So we're going to approach... Well, we don't really need to approach that guy. We're going to blow him up, actually. Boom, he's dead. We are now going to use it, though. And I love how the icon for it is the uh, Groucho Marx glasses. I love that. So, before when we came here, immediately that guy hit that switch and triggered an alarm. Uh, since we are now a robot, as far as he's concerned, we can now just get in. But if you drop your defenses near him, he's still going to hit that button, and that's going to cause some really annoying enemies to come out and attack you. So here we're going to need to time this when that guy's not looking at us. And then quickly switch to the hollow guys. We're going to wave at them. Keep waving at them. Does only a react at once? Oh well. Yeah, just, just make sure you're not facing them, or they're, they're not facing you when when you take them out, otherwise there's going to be a bit of an, of an issue. It's mostly just timing, just know, know when to do it and when not to do it. If you're feeling saucy, you could probably make it to the other side in one go, but I'd rather not. Because I really don't like the enemies that they sick on you when you uh, get caught. It's really annoying. Oh no, he's like right next to the button. Why did I hit him into it? You unfortunately can't destroy the buttons. I wonder if I can activate it myself. That'd be kind of funny. We're going to want to do this because otherwise he's going to see us immediately. Oh, there's no one in here? Huh. So this part, I would say, is actually somewhat annoying to deal with when you're just trying to uh, sneak past these guys, so what I'm going to do is blow them up. Sorry. It's kind of cheap, but I don't like sneaking past those guys. And this is coming from someone who likes sneaking in games, so... Don't think it's just because I'm not good at sneaking. I just don't happen to be very good at sneaking in this game. Um, also, I don't think there are like any checkpoints in this in this area, so be careful of that when doing this section. Because this section can be kind of annoying. So I'm going to wait for the next one to drop, and then we are going to go... Yeah, I don't know. That part can be kind of annoying. Kind of tricky. You will have to destroy them. Make sure they don't press the alarm button. This part can also be kind of tricky if you don't know when to hit them and where to hit them, but it's not really that bad. You just gotta uh, attack that guy, and then that guy, and then that guy. So, we're gonna do this pretty quickly here. Wait for that guy to turn around. Get him. Whoops! No one hit the button! No one hits the button! Yeah, I kinda screwed that one up. I guess I hit the other guy into the other guy. That wasn't... That wasn't my, uh, my best plan, I guess. I had a good plan, uh formulated but it didn't the execution wasn't great in fact I almost got executed when you see a door like this just make sure that you're you have the hollow guys just in case so we're gonna wait for those guys to go inside and then we're going to get our devastator out and then when they come out again we're gonna blow them up Oh, please make that ratchet. Thank you. For 
some reason I really didn't think he was gonna make that. So this part looks like it's gonna throw a boss at you, but I I don't think it does. I don't remember fighting a boss here. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't remember there being that many bosses in this game. I think there's only the one boss left. Wait, oh man, I thought I could climb up there, like, parkour up there, that'd be kind of cool. Again, if you see a door, just make sure you have the hollow guys uh, equipped, just in case. You never know what's going to be behind the next door. I believe there's going to be some, yeah, there's going to be like three guys up here. Turn around. Turn around, buddies. Thank you. And again, you're going to want to really time this one pretty well. I probably could have made it to that middle bit, but oh well. And again, when you're on that little... This little part, you're not going to want to activate the hollow guys. That would not be a good idea. I'm just a birdie too. I'm just a robot too. Hey, if you guys push me off, I will murder your entire family. Let me through, please. I don't know if I want to kill them or not. Like, I want the bolts in here, but I also don't. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna keep going. I'm feeling dangerous today. Well, I'm gonna have to kill him anyway. Alright, you guys, turn around. Don't mind me, I'm just a birdie too. Oh, shit! I didn't realize that guy noticed me. I guess... I guess when his buddies died, he probably noticed. Can I kill those guys that were up there? Most likely, yes. Was it only that one guy? Alright, Yusa gonna die. Yusa gonna die. We good now? Yeah, I suppose this is a bomb. A bomb factory. We've already been to a bomb factory. This is, I guess, the robot manufacturing plant? I don't know. Well, yeah, I think that's already been established. I don't know why I'm bringing that up now. That's like the whole reason that we're here was because they were building robots here. And then Clank turned into a giant robot, which was awesome. Because giant robots are awesome, let's just face it. There are a lot of weird noises on this planet. Ratchet, please throw your your ratchet where I'm telling you to throw it. Not many places in this game where you like really have to use the ground pound, but oh well. Shit. Again, I'm not heeding my own advice. Advice? Hey, see me. Now I'm gonna kill you. I feel like this is actually good sneaking music, I don't know. No one in here? Is there a boss here? No. That should do it. Mom? Oh, brother. I tried, Mom. I know. Hey, look! A sister! <laughs> My fellow Blob, our synthetic world is now fully functional and ready for habitation. However, there is one small obstacle in our way. This pathetic lump of a planet. 
Due to some blunder of fate, it happens to occupy the galaxy's most perfect orbit. But no more. Behold, the Deplanetizer! The most powerful laser ever created! Soon, we'll move the Deplanetizer into place just above the planet's surface. I will, of course, be on hand to press the button that will blow this mud ball to smithereens. No one will even miss it. See you then! Ratchet? Are you all right? He is going to pay! Excuse me? It shouldn't have taken me this long to see it! Drek is going to find out what happens when you mess with my home! What are you smiling at? This is the ratchet I always knew was there. Okay, if we're gonna do this, we need to get on the Drek's ship. And then we can find out where he set up that laser. I will try to make you proud, Mom. Aww. Um, this is, yeah, this is actually the room from the beginning of the game, like the very beginning cutscene. Uh, or at least the very beginning cutscene that had Clank in it. So, I think that's pretty neat. That you eventually come back here. But now we're gonna go to Drex, uh, thing. Uh, we're very much so in the endgame. I, I feel like I've been saying that for like the last half of the game, but... We're for sure in the endgame now. This is about as endgamey as it gets. And I will definitely be able to finish this game today. As long as nothing happens. Wait, what? Susie fell down a well? Shit, I gotta go. Alrighty, let's see. We now have the coordinates for Drex's fleet. We are now going to... find the coordinates for Drex's laser. This is not that bad of a planet. Well, it's not really a planet. But still, it's not that bad. I looked up to see if I was the only one who had like a problem with Ratchet's personality in this game, and I read multiple reviews for when this game first came out, and a lot of people said that, you know, gameplay's great, Clank's great, Quark's great, but Ratchet is a very unlikable character in this in this story, and I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one who thought that. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, I don't know what I want to do first. I guess I'll do the water stuff first. Uh, ooh, we're almost there. We can almost buy the the Tesla Claw, which is good. But again, I like to have a good amount of money ready for the final boss for the Gadgetron PDA. It's really useful, but the Tesla Claw is a really overpowered weapon, and that can make the final boss a joke. So I might end up just buying that. But yeah, here we have another one of these sections. I think there's only two in the game. Obviously, this is the second one. Just use your Hydro Pack and a good swimming. This one is definitely much tougher than the, sec the, the first one, as you just have to do this. There's a lot more obstacles you need to overcome. But as long as you're good at the game and, you know, you've uh, mastered a lot of the, the things that you do in the game, you shouldn't really have that much of a problem with it. Uh, verdict's still out on whether or not I've mastered the game or not, so... We'll see. Ooh, that was a close one. That was too close. You were almost a ratchet sandwich. Am I gonna die under here? Is this my fate? Am I gonna have a watery grave? Yeah, I remember when I was doing my test playthrough of this, I, I got fucked up in this section. Uh, I assume this is counting down to electrifying everything again. Oh, okay, I remember this is pretty pointless. Code bot. I don't think it's at all useful for the thing, uh, like anything in the game. Oh, you know, you might use it like twice. I know on the previous planet that we were on, we can unlock some doors and stuff. Sorry about that, I needed to sneeze. 
yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those pretty pointless things. Was that a mission? Whoops. Was that a mission or not? Yeah, it was. That's not the main thing we're here to do, though, obviously. We didn't just come here for that. And this is gonna take us right back to the beginning.